Hello again everybody, it's Tara here from Tiny Tees and I have got my pyjamas on today and I've also got a snuggly pillow because I'm going to be telling you the story of No Jumping on the Bed by Ted Arnold. Are you ready with your pillows? Let's go! In his bedroom, near the top of a very tall apartment building, Walter was getting ready for bed. And before turning out the light, his father said, If I've told you once, I've told you a million times, no jumping on the bed. One day, it'll crash right through the floor. Now lie down and go to sleep. Oh, just one more time, said Walter. But instead, he plopped down onto his pillow and squeezed his eyes closed. Good night, said his father. He turned off the light and pulled the door almost closed. And the room was dark and quiet. Shh. Except for a soft thump, thump, thump coming from the room above. Hmm. That's Delbert upstairs, thought Walter. And he switched on his bedside lamp. Well, if Delbert can jump on his bed, so can I. And so Walter bounced higher and higher. Can you jump up and down? <gasps> and on his last jump, his hair touched the ceiling. But when he came back down, his mattress creaked. The floor cracked. Crack. Tipped sideways and then down through the floor fell Walter, bed and all. <laughs> now, it happened that Walter's bedroom was directly above Miss Hattie's dining room. So she was more than a little surprised when a bed fell through her ceiling and Walter landed in her plate of spaghetti and meatballs. I was not expecting company for dinner, she mumbled with a mouth full of meatballs. Mmm, said Walter. Spaghetti is my all-time favourite. But before he could eat, his bed smashed right through the table crash, and kept on crashing down through the floor. Down and down fell water. Miss Hattie, the plate of spaghetti, the bed and all. Well, Miss Hattie's dining room was above Mr Matty's TV room. And Mr Matty didn't even notice a bed falling through his ceiling until a meatball bounced off his head. Miss Hattie tumbled into his lap and water splashed into his aquarium. Splash! I've already had my bath tonight, said Walter. Well, he wanted to stay and watch the monsters on the TV, but his bed crunched right through the floor taking the TV with it. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr Matty, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed and all. Walter's Aunt Batty had just moved into the building. She was still unpacking when Miss Hattie, Mr Matty and a dripping wet Walter tumbled through the ceiling right into a box containing her rare Patagonian stamp collection. When he burst through the bottom of the box, Walter was a sticky mess. I see you started collecting stamps, said Aunt Batty, as 
as she followed Walter through the new hole in the floor. And down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr Matty, Aunt Batty, the stamp collection, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed and all. Patty and Natty had worked for three days building their dream house with bricks. And afraid that Fatty Cat might knock something over, they carefully shooed her out for the night. And then the upstairs neighbours came through the ceiling. Um, excuse us, said Walter, remembering his manners. We won't be staying long. And the words were barely past his lips when Walter's bed bashed through the floor and continued on its way. And down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. The last thing that Mr. Hat Ratty ever expected to see was a bed coming through his studio ceiling, followed by nearly everyone in the building. If I'd known you wanted to see my paintings, he said, I would have tidied up a bit. But they never once paused to admire Mr. Hanratty's colourful artwork. They were too busy splashing in his can of paint. Splash, splash, splash! And then his floor caved in and everyone followed Walter's bed down through the hole. And down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty and Natty. Mr. Hanratty, Fatty Cat, 17 cans of paint, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Maestro Berlingatti and his string quartet were astonished by the colourful crowd that fell from the ceiling, even if they dropped in unannounced. But when Walter's bed smashed through the floor and paint splattered everywhere, the maestro wished his audience would leave. And so they did, along with the string quartet. Well, Maestro Berlingatti's practice room floor was also the basement ceiling. It was dark and quiet as midnight down there. And Walter squeezed his eyes closed and tumbled through the darkness until he landed on something soft and he opened his eyes and everything was in its place. His bedroom lights were out. The door was almost closed and through it, Walter could hear his mother and father talking quietly. <sighs> no more jumping on the bed for me, mumbled Walter as he lay back down to sleep. But suddenly he heard a creak and the ceiling cracked and down and down came Delbert, bed and all. Down and down fell Delbert. Thanks again everyone for watching my video today. If you liked what you saw and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you click subscribe and like and share the videos and so we can get as many people as possible spreading the storytelling love. I'll see you soon!